Okay, um, so uh, right now, in a few moments, uh, we're going to make you see him on the Sesame Pizza. Um, yeah, woohoo! Well, so, uh, <laughs> thank you, Sean of Bet. Before I start, I want to say thank you uh, to my parents for uh, giving me this opportunity to come back, Sean Abed, and be Le uh, And um, I also want to thank I want to thank Alder Bain and Le Torah for encouraging me and helping me helping me grow my learning. And I also want to thank uh, Hashem because He gives us everything. So contrary to popular belief, uh, the Sefer Beitza is not about eggs. It just happens to be the first word so they called it the Sefer Beitza. Um, it's actually about the halacha of Yom Tov, like what you're allowed to cook on Yom Tov, how far you're allowed to go outside your tchum on Yom Tov, how long, how far you're allowed to, you know, how you had to make an air of tafshilin and uh, all the interesting stuff like that. Um, but there was one one line that really uh, really stuck out to me that uh, it doesn't have to do with uh, Yom Tov or anything like that. Um, it says, Amar Rav, Le'olam al yibna adam atzmo mi bet midrash afilu shah achat. That's on Chav Dalet Amar Bet Beitza, and it quotes Amitech um, Shabbat Dav Pei Gimel Amar Bet. So that means, Rav says, that a man should not, should not remove himself, should not prevent himself from, from being in the Bet Midrash, even for one moment. And I, when I read that, I was like, okay, that's impossible, right? We have Netflix. <laughs> this is where you guys laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, um, so, yeah, that's, that's possible. You have, to, you have to leave sometime. You have to go to the Charochol, and you have to go back to your dorm and sleep, right? So, after thinking about it for a day, um, I, f I figured, okay, you know, this is what it means. It means that once you leave the Baby Drosh, you're not physically in the Bay Midrash, but you're mentally in the, in the Bay Midrash. Everything you do, every action you take, every thought you have should be connected somehow to the Bay Midrash, connected to Torah, to doing uh, chesed, doing something that has to do with the Bay Midrash. And you should always be thinking about, okay, in, in, in this situation, what does, the Torah, what does the Torah want me to do? What should I do? Uh, as a, what's the best thing for me to do holistically, as, as the Torah would want me to do? Okay, and now I'm gonna read uh, the last line of uh, Beitza and make the scene. So the last Mishnah is talking about uh, which animals you're allowed to shecht um, on Yom Tov. And there's two types, there's Midvariot and Baitu. Baitu are domesticated animals, and Midvariot are wild animals, animals that just roam free. Uh, so it says, Diotzot v'ra'ot v'pesach v'nichnisot v'arivya rishona d'baitu pain. So, um, so the animals that go out into the field on Pesach, but they come back during the first rain, the first time it rains, they're called uh, baitu. They're called uh, domesticated animals. V'amrile Rabbanan, but the Rabbanan said, lo, midvari yobhein. They're actually, those types of animals are actually uh, wild animals. The ones that go out on Pesach, come back, come back during, during the, rainy se the rainy season, those are uh, wild animals. Hadron alach mishlin pero eslika la mesecha beta. Hadron alach mesecha beta, hadron alach, hadrach alan. Datan alach mesecha beta, vedatach alan. Lo nit neshe minach mesecha beta, lo tit neshi minan, lo alma hadin, lo alma date. Hadron alach mesecha beta, hadrach alan. Datan alach mesecha beta, vedatach alan. Lo nit neshe minach mesecha beta, lo tit neshi minan. La <laughs> Hanini bar papa, Rami bar Rami bar papa, Nachman bar papa, Achai bar papa, Abba Mari bar papa, Rafran bar papa, Rafid bar papa, 
Amen. 